What's going on, YouTube? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into our channel. I'm Ty. I'm Katie. We're going to get travel. Traveling today, we're checking out Greece. Let's go. Here we go. Let's do it. Right. Is this, our, this isn't our first video for Greece, is it? It is. Oh my gosh, it I is. can't believe that. I know. Oh my gosh. Wow. Greece, oh, I don't know too much about Greece. Yeah, um, me neither. Just that the pictures I've seen are so beautiful. Like, just beautiful. I don't know. <laughs> well, let's check it out. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Why, the, oh, the why thing I do playing? know about Greece yeah. is that they have amazing baklava. Oh, that is like such an amazing Greek dessert. Okay, okay. So shout out baklava. <laughs> All right, let's get into this episode. If All it's right. your first time coming across our channel, please give us a quick subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. We come out with videos every single day. Yes. Leave us a comment what we should react to next. Yes, definitely. Thanks for watching. Yes, and thank you, Geography Now, for this awesome video. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. You're the one that I want. Yeah, the Hang one on. I want. Before we continue on. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. I just want to make sure that this video is nice and loud for everyone perfect so everyone can hear what we're watching love it all right greece all right here we go all right now we should be good you get my reference right you get it i'm so clever right do you get my reference oh, it's greece oh <laughs> It's time to learn geography. No! Hey everybody, I'm your host Barbie. <laughs> Greece is sometimes seen as like the cradle and birthplace of European civilization and thought. So much of everything you see today has some kind of correlation to Greece. Pretty heavy for a relatively small country in the Balkans, eh? Now let's find out how it all went down. All right. Do, do, do. So let's just jump into it. Greece is located in the southernmost part of the Balkan Peninsula that stretches into the Ionian, Mediterranean, and Aegean seas bordered by four countries in the north and east. The country is divided into 13 regions, one autonomous state that we'll talk about later, and the capital Athens, one of the oldest capitals in the world where nearly 40% of the entire population lives. Now, despite Dang. the administrative makeup, Greece is generally divided into nine geographic regions. Thrace, Macedonia, not to be confused with this place that we already talked about, Thessaly, Epirus, Central Greece, the Ionian Islands, the Aegean Islands, and Crete. As you can probably tell from its makeup, Greece is one of, if not probably the most seafaring marine oh, wow. emphasized countries in the world. I yeah, mean, they do wow. have the world's Dang. largest merchant marine fleet after Japan. And at any given point in Greece, you are no more than 85 miles or 137 kilometers from the sea. Greece has over 2,000 islands, only about 220 of which are inhabited, and about 4,000 extra islets, keys, and sea rocks. Even the ones that are like right off the coast of Turkey. In fact, the only two significant islands belonging to Turkey in the Aegean are Imbros, or Kanachale, and Tenedos, or Botsjada. Now, keep in mind, the Peloponnesian Peninsula is not an island. It's actually just barely connected by the Corinthian Isthmus in the city of Corinth, oh, wow. which has a huge canal going through it. After independence Dang. from the Ottoman times, Greece was very intent on making sure they kept everything in the Aegean. This has historically led to some controversy from Turkey in regards to things like the delimitation of territorial waters, airspace, the executive economic zone, and the militarization of some of the islands. Nonetheless, they've been able to work stuff out, kind of, but some things are still left in a gray zone with the only land dispute they have over these two two small scraps of land, the Imia or oh Kandak Island. Finally, let's Those talk about so the small. one autonomous state. See this little guy right here? The third finger on the weird monster claw looking peninsula? Well, that peninsula is called Halkidiki and the third finger is Mount Athos. With a population of only about 2,000, Mount Athos or Holy Mountain. Oh my gosh, those are so steep. Oh look at that. It's a monastic state completely run by monks and priests. Getting in is a little tough. The number of daily visitors is restricted. You have to have a special permit and you have to be a dude. No women allowed. Although historically, wow. some women really? have either accidentally or intentionally got in, including this former Greek beauty pageant winner. She dressed up as a man and snuck in. The three largest cities are really? Athens, Athens, the capital, Thessaloniki, and Patras. However, the three largest and busiest airports are Athens, Heracleion on Crete, and then Thessaloniki coming in at third. Speaking of Crete, each inhabited island in Greece kind of has its own charm. Of course, there are too many things to list, but a few to consider might be things like Corfu being the most family-friendly oh. island. Delos wow. is known for being the legendary birthplace of Apollo. Skyros and Hydra are kind of like the oh, quiet so islands where more people use mules than cars. Mars. Rhodes once held the Colossus, one of the seven wonders of the Whoa. ancient world. Caria once tried to become its own country at one point in time. Naxos and Paros are known for being the windy Whoa, islands. Was that for squid? Sailing, yeah, you saw sports. that. Yeah. Santorini with its ridiculously oh, picturesque so hey. white marble villas. And Patmos, the incredibly significant religious site in which Jesus' disciple John was exiled and wrote the book of Revelation. Speaking of which, Greece has more archaeological sites per capita than any other country in the world. Only ranks behind a few other countries like Turkey and Mexico in terms of overall sites. Now, we all know Greece 
Greece is a tourist hotspot. Like France, more tourists than the entire population of Greece visit Greece every single year. Now, we all know about the Acropolis and the Parthenon, but other cool sites that stick out include the Meteora Pillar Cliff what? Monasteries, the Necromantion of Ephyra, the Whoa. Oracle of Delphi, St. Theodora's Chapel with 17 oak trees sprouting with no visible evidence of what? roots, the sculpted face on the really? shore of Nisi, the Chios' former <gasps> leper colony, the yeah. Palace of the Grand Master of the Knights of Rhodes, and of course, hundreds and hundreds of other sites. Wow. There are too many lists, and if oh you know gosh, any, I want to learn about all that. Yeah. Yeah. In the meantime, we gotta get down to the foundations of the country. Yeah, the seriously, day. all that looks so yeah. interesting. Now, there's an old Greek saying, when God made the world, he took the leftover rocks, threw them behind his shoulder, and that's how Greece was made. I, I kind of paraphrase that a little bit, don't quote me on it. Too late, it's a quote now. <laughs> <laughs> now, Greece is funny because land-wise, they don't exactly score high on the soil performance index, and overland transportation has always been an issue. But when you pretty much dominate the maritime trading sector, you can kind of turn a semi-arid rock zone into a flourishing agrarian hub. And wait till we get to the Israel episode. They've done quite an interesting job. I can't job. believe there's so much money lovers in his people. The on the West Bank, I'm here with the West Bank. Oh, West Bank. What? What? First of all, the country is about 80% mountainous on both the mainland Balkan region and the islands. Two main mountain chains form along the Balkan mainland, the Pindus in the west and the Rhodopes in the northeast. Macedonia and Thrace regions. Right around the area where Thessaly meets Macedonia, you find Mount Olympus, the tallest mountain in Greece, notable Whoa. for being the legendary home Whoa. of the ancient Greek gods. Now, with the exception of small boats and canoes, almost all the rivers in Greece are non-navigable as they are too shallow. Nonetheless, the largest river, Aliakmonos, flows through the Pindus Range and eventually empties into the Thermaic Gulf right by the Monster Claw. Also, Trihonida, the largest lake, can be found in the south-central Greek region. Beautiful, right? Well, it comes at a cost. Greece is one of the most seismically active countries in the world as it lies on two major tectonic oh. plates. For volcanoes. The Anatolian oh. Fault and the Hellenic Trench. This means that although frequent, <gasps> earthquakes in Greece are relatively mild because they usually have epicenters that are in the sea. Or, you know, Turkey just kind of takes the biggest hit. Greece gets about 250 days of pure sunshine a year. 7% of the world's marble mines are found in Greece. And they're also the third largest olive oil producer. Speaking of which, if you've never had Greek food, you are not allowed to die until you do. Popular dishes like moussaka, spanakopita, the classic Greek salad, pita with gyros, the real kind, not that cheap oh, sleazy so stuff good. down on 14th Street in which half of the meat is made of cornmeal. Nonetheless, <laughs> agriculture only makes up about 4% of their economic output. Most of the revenue at over 80% comes from tourism and service jobs. Otherwise, some notable spots in nature wow. would be places like the Vikos Gorge, the Sami Cave in <gasps> Cephalonia, the Culture Blue-Eyed Spring, Volcanic Rocks of Lemnos, Neda Whoa. Waterfalls, Tozar Hot Springs, and so much more. In a nutshell, Greece is like a rocky, rugged, seafaring realm of merchandise and ships and olives. Could have said that like three minutes ago and skipped this whole segment. Well, <laughs> on to the next. <laughs> Winston Churchill once said, Greeks don't fight like heroes. Heroes fight like Greeks. Okay. First of all, Greece has about 11 million people and has one of the highest aging populations in Europe. The vast majority of the country at about 93% are made up of ethnic Greeks and the remaining 7% are mostly made up of other groups like Albanians, Gypsies, and Turks. They use the type C and F plug outlets. They use the Euro as their currency, although prior to the Euro, they used the drachma, which was the oldest consistently used currency in the world. Oh, wow. And they drive on the right side of the road. Now, pretty much anyone that has ever been to school at around age 12 will know how much Greek history has played a role in the Western world. The history is too long to explain in Greek detail. Mythology. But in the quickest no. Right. I can put this. Minoans, Mycenaeans, History, tribes and city yeah. states fighting against Persians at Thermopylae, which is where Gerard Butler came in and did this. Alexander the Great <laughs> ushered in the Macedonian Empire. <clears throat> Dude, he was what? Greek. No, he no, was yes, not Greek. He, yes, he, he was. was. Never Greek. How many times? He... Then there was classical Greece, Roman Greece, Byzantine Greece, Ottoman Greece, and then finally a revolution led by this guy in 1821 that started the modern version of Greece that we have today. Thanks to Alexander the Great, multiple regions on three continents experienced some form of Hellenization or the influence of Greek culture and language, and it went all the way down into the Byzantine era. This means at one point in wow. time, even black Africans were speaking Greek, or at least the ancient Koine Greek language. It became so widespread that today almost every language in Europe invokes some some kind of Greek origin in certain vocabulary. For example, in English, we have academy, telephone, grammar, and even geography. Not only that, <laughs> wow. but Greek has in one way or another been spoken for over 3,000 years, making it possibly the oldest consistently spoken and written language in the world. Eh, wow. the Shang Dynasty. Eh, moving on. We could go on and on talking about Greece's explosively fascinating ancient history enshrined with legend, myth, wars, warriors, trade, alliances, gods, beasts, Sparta, sculpture, arts, leaders, philosophers, games, 
and interesting clothing options. Well, that'll take too long, and we gotta get through this episode. About 90% of the people in Greece adhere to Christianity, mostly in the Eastern Orthodox branch, just like many other countries in the Slavic world. If you've ever met a Greek person, you'll know that most of them definitely have a unique way of carrying themselves. Many of you Greek geography peeps, or as I like to call you, geography Greeks, have told me that the movie <laughs> My Big Fat Greek Wedding is actually kind of a pretty accurate representation of a typical Greek family upbringing. A little exaggerated, but no, I've never seen that. I've never Big seen families with strong opinionated parents that you do not talk back to. There's always like a weird grandma mumbling something about the Turks, and one of the cousins is probably lighting something on fire as your brother is getting into a fight. But when grandma brings in the souvlaki and moussaka, everyone sits down and it's like a beautiful warm Norman Rockwell painting. At least that's the picture you Geogra Greeks have painted for me. I don't know, how was that? Was that in the ballpark? So anyway, in Greece, <laughs> voting is required by law as is conscription for men ages 16. Yeah, that's right, 16. They get them while they're young. Up to 45 for a minimum of nine months in service. Oh, Many wow. people celebrate name day instead of their birthdays in which they have a party oh. on the day that pertains to the patron saint that they got their name from. Land is kind oh. of limited, so to save space, many of the dead have their bodies kind of cool. after yeah. five years of being buried, and then the bones Whoa. are washed in wine and then placed in an ossuary. Retirement homes are incredibly rare as Wait, most Greek for everyone? Yeah, or for just that. special special individuals wait what it's did he say for me i don't know how was that was that in the ballpark did I go so too anyway, far? in greece voting is required by law they have a party on the yeah, day here. that pertains to the patron saint that they got their name from land is kind of limited so to save space many of the dead have their bodies exhumed after five years of being buried and then the bones are washed in wine and then placed in an ossuary wow. retirement homes are incredibly rare as most greek oh my gosh typically end up living in their children's homes traditional music can be found everywhere you'll probably hear a lot of lutes mandolins and tambourines traditional dances are alive and well they all usually incorporate some kind of group number with fast-paced movements and jumpy actions. Oh, and old guys smoking while playing backgammon. There's always old guys smoking and playing backgammon. Avoid the offensive <laughs> mutsa hands. And just like we studied in the Estonia episode, Greece has an influx of women, like a lot. Somewhere around 60 to 65% of the population is female. This may or may not be the reason why Greece is also the world's most... How can I put this in a non-crude and vulgar phrasing for our children viewers? Uh, Greece is the most hey hey active country in the world. They even beat Brazil. <laughs> Brazil. Interestingly enough, Greece also has the lowest divorce rate in the EU as well. Speaking of that, okay, let's talk about some numbers. Brutal, brutal, sometimes image tarnishing numbers. Let's just address the elephant in the room and get it over with, okay? Yes, Greece is in a little bit of an economic pickle right now. Basically, in a nutshell, back in 2001, Greece joined the EU. Long story short, they misrepresented their financial statements, they entered an IMF and ECB memorandum, and now the current generation is paying for all the fiscally irresponsible actions the previous one made with things like hiked taxes as well as salary and pension cuts. You know, son, back oh, wow. in my day. Yeah, back in your day, you ruined my day. Greece also has the highest unemployment rate in the EU as well, with nearly a quarter of the population seeking jobs. Nonetheless, wow. as depressing as that sounds, Greece actually, interestingly enough, has the lowest suicide rate in the EU. Now, before we move on, here are some rapid-fire notable contributions Greece has made to the world. Inventions like the water mill, alarm clocks, lighthouses, the crane, clocks. construction levers, catapults, a crude steam engine, central heating, and technically the first robot concepts like citizenship, early democracy, atom theory, various fields of mathematics like mm. geometry. Oh my advancements gosh. in disease study and medicine, philosophy, theater, dynamic sculpture and wow. arts, written history, trial by jury, and of course, the Olympics. Notable Greeks would wow. probably include Eratosthenes, Leonidas, Pericles, Homer, Plutarch, Euripides, Pythagoras, Euclid, Archimedes, and Apollonius, Herodotus, Pythagoras. and also don't Pythagorean it, theorem. Oh, yeah. I think. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes, yes, no. I'm going to say is he, not he is Greek. Greek. Yes, he, he is. is. Modern contemporaries <laughs> like Konstantinos Karathiadori, who taught Einstein, singer Nana Muscuri, the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip. Yep, he's actually half Greek. Tommy Lee, oh. Yanni, soccer players, Giorgio Samaras, Giorgios Karayunis, Konstantinos Mitroglu, this crazy guy who ran like a thousand miles in 11 days. Queen what? Sophia of what? Spain, of course, America's Greek sweetheart, John Stamos. Don't even try oh, to get know on he this was list. Greek. Okay, friend time. <laughs> Greece is really old, like, Whoa, really old. They've planted so many shifting diplomatic ties throughout the millennia that it's ridiculous. In a nutshell, though, they generally get along pretty well with other Orthodox countries, mostly in Eastern Europe, as theology and doctrine have always tied them in one way or another. Of those Orthodox countries, Serbia is probably hands down the closest childhood friend. Serbians are like the next door neighbor that they grew up with asking if Greece could come out and play ball. Nonetheless, <laughs> you don't have to be Orthodox to roll with Greece. Greeks love the Spanish and Italians almost as much. Each country shares a similar Mediterranean seafaring culture that has historically tied them 
them for thousands of years, although each claim that they have the best olive oil. Greeks have even adopted certain Italian words in their vernacular, like una fazza, una razza, one face, one race. And as mentioned before, Armenia is kind of like the exotic apostolic girlfriend they've been dating since like the third century AD. Turkey is kind of like the whole Japan, South Korea thing in which historically they've had a lot of drama because you know, Ottoman times, but they love to visit and piggyback off of each other's cultures. Today, there is virtually no tension between everyday citizens. They've moved on mostly, and sometimes it's even hard to distinguish a Greek person from a Turk just by looking at them. But make sure you do not make the mistake of mislabeling them. That's a huge no-no. When it comes to their best friend though, almost every Geogra Greek told me Cyprus. Many Greeks don't even really see Cyprus as a separate country, but rather just an extension of Greece. They love their little brothers with funny accents and would do anything for them. In conclusion, modern day Greece may only make up about 132,000 square kilometers, but has been the standard source of inspiration for so much of the Western world. The fact is today you can look around and see how much of our modern society has been in some way, shape or form molded by something Greek. That's kudos so you. interesting. Wow, yeah. And by the way, kudos is a Greek word. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, Brindia kudos. Is coming up next. Nice. Wow, that was a really good one. That was really good. I yeah. like that. Yeah, all of the views, the different, uh, just here, let's go back through it a little bit. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> yeah, the views like were one. amazing. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Santorini, that's in my head when I picture Greece. I picture, oh, the beautiful marble and yeah. the water. Let's see if I can find some of it. Yeah, like, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, ancient Greece. That's really interesting. This, this. I was like, oh my oh. gosh, yeah. Wow. Amazing. And then somewhere in the middle, I think, um, it was really fast. Yeah. There was like a ton of... My favorite part is when he talks about the demographics. Yeah. Yeah, the different people that live there. Like these waterfalls and stuff. Oh my gosh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, and all the... Different words. Yeah. Interesting. I'm trying to find it. I don't know where it's at. I do this every video. <laughs> <laughs> it was like trees growing out of the house. Remember? Oh, yeah. With no roots. Yeah. I don't know where that's at. Oh, oh my the... gosh, look at that. Yeah, the face. It's, it's somewhere around here. Yeah, yeah, I think it was right before that. I think it's right after it. I'm playing it. See the Chios former leper colony buildings, the palace of the Grand Master of the Knights of Rhodes, right and of course, hundreds and hundreds. Yeah, you're right. Now I want to see it. I know, I got to see it now. Like France, more tourists than the entire population of Greece visit Greece every single year. Now, we all know about the Acropolis and the Parthenon, but other cool sites that stick out include the Meteora oh, yeah, Pillar the Cliff Monasteries, the Necromantion of Ephyra, the Oracle of it's Delphi, like right St. Here. Theodora's Chapel. Here. Yeah, that. Look at that. St. Theodora's Chapel. Yeah, And they said there that. was no roots. Yeah, no roots. How does that happen? Chapel with 17 oak trees. Wow. 17 oak trees. That's really cool. Yeah, that's so sweet. Oh my gosh. More visible evidence of roots. The yeah, wow. look at that. Oh my gosh. I, we need to learn more about Greece. Yeah, definitely. That was a great one. Yeah, it, that's that. so true. It is so rich in history and just the Greek mythology, all of the like, like Mount Olympus. Yeah. Did you see that? Like went into the clouds. Yeah, that was so cool. <laughs> yeah, really neat. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments down below what we need to react to next and what else do we need to know about Greece? Yeah, let us know. Let us know. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if it's your first time coming across our channel and checking out one of our videos, please give us a quick subscribe. Hit that notification bell to stay up to date because we come out with videos every, every single day. day and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See ya.